Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. The Toyota Camry is a common sight on roads everywhere. It's known for being reliable and efficient. However, some Camry models from specific years experienced a significant problem, oil sludge formation. This issue wasn't just a minor inconvenience, it could lead to serious engine damage if not addressed. Understanding what causes this sludge and how to prevent it is key for many Camry owners. What is oil sludge and why does it form? Oil sludge is a thick, jelly-like substance that can build up inside your engine. Think of it like hardened grease in a kitchen drain. This gooey material doesn't belong in a finely tuned engine, and its presence can spell big trouble. But how does this troublesome gunk form in the first place? It's a chemical reaction involving your engine's oil, heat, and contaminants. The chemical process of sludge formation. Engine oil, while designed to withstand harsh conditions, isn't indestructible. Over time, and under specific circumstances, it can break down. This breakdown is mainly due to a process called oxidation. Oxidation happens when oxygen molecules mix with the oil. This reaction starts forming microscopic particles. Imagine oil as a long chain of molecules. As oxidation occurs, these chains break apart and link up with other broken chains. This creates larger, heavier molecules that don't flow well. Think of it like taking thin cooking oil and turning it into a thick, syrupy mess. These new, heavier molecules are the beginnings of sludge. The role of heat, oxidation, and contaminants. Several factors accelerate this breakdown process, turning good engine oil into harmful sludge. Heat Your engine produces a lot of heat. High temperatures speed up chemical reactions, including oxidation. When oil gets too hot, its molecular structure weakens, making it more susceptible to breaking down. It's similar to how food cooks faster at higher temperatures. Oxidation As mentioned, oxidation is a primary culprit. Engine oil is constantly exposed to air, which contains oxygen. While oil has additives to resist oxidation, these additives wear out over time. When they do, oxygen attacks the oil more readily, leading to accelerated sludge formation. Contaminants Your engine is not a perfectly clean environment. Tiny bits of metal from wear and tear, unburnt fuel, and even antifreeze can mix with the oil. These contaminants act like catalysts, speeding up the oil's degradation. They also provide solid particles for the thickening oil to cling to, creating that characteristic jelly-like texture. It's like adding grit to a sticky syrup, it makes it even more clumpy. Toyota Camry models and engines affected by oil sludge. While the Toyota Camry generally holds a strong reputation for dependability, certain model years and specific engine types became unfortunately notorious for oil sludge issues. This problem wasn't universal across all Camrys, but it significantly impacted a particular range of vehicles. If you own a Camry from the late 1990s through the mid-2000s, it's especially important to be aware of this potential issue. The 1MZFE V6 Engine The 1MZFE V6 engine, widely used in various Toyota and Lexus models, was a primary victim of oil sludge. This engine powered many Camry V6 models produced from about 1997 through 2006. You would typically find this engine in the higher trim levels of the Camry during these years. Its design, combined with extended oil change intervals and specific driving habits, made it highly susceptible to sludge buildup. Model years, roughly 1997-2006, V6 models. Common issues, rapid oil degradation, blocked oil passages, reduced lubrication. The 5SFE four-cylinder engine. The 5SFE, a robust four-cylinder engine, also experienced oil sludge problems, though perhaps not as frequently or severely as its V6 counterpart. This engine was a staple in four-cylinder Camry models from around 1997 to 2001. While known for its simplicity and reliability, it wasn't immune to the conditions that promote sludge formation, particularly when maintenance schedules were neglected. Model years, approximately 1997-2001, four-cylinder models. Common issues. Sludge formation, reduced oil flow, potential for engine rattling. Why these engines? 
you might wonder why these specific engines faced such challenges. A combination of factors contributed. These engines often ran hotter than earlier designs, which accelerated oil breakdown. Also, original equipment manufacturer recommendations for oil change intervals during that period were sometimes longer than ideal for preventing sludge, especially if owners used conventional oil or drove under severe conditions. Think about it. Leaving oil in a hot, busy engine for too long is like reusing cooking oil repeatedly. It breaks down and becomes less effective. Symptoms of oil sludge buildup. Recognizing the early warning signs of oil sludge buildup in your Toyota Camry is incredibly important. Catching these symptoms quickly can help you prevent more serious damage to your engine. The signs often start subtly and then become more obvious as the sludge problem gets worse. Pay attention to how your engine feels and sounds, it might be trying to tell you something. Engine misfires. You might notice your engine running a little rough or feeling like it's stumbling. This often points to engine misfires. Oil sludge can block the narrow passages that deliver oil to critical engine components, like the hydraulic lash adjusters or valve lifters. When these parts don't get enough oil, they can't work correctly, leading to one or more cylinders not firing properly. It feels like the engine is skipping a beat. Rough idling. Does your Camry shake or vibrate more than usual when you're stopped at a light? This rough idling can be a direct result of oil sludge. When sludge restricts oil flow, engine components don't move as smoothly as they should. This creates an imbalance within the engine, causing it to vibrate or shake at idle. It's similar to a bicycle chain that's sticky and doesn't rotate fluidly. It causes the whole bike to feel off. Reduced performance. You might feel a noticeable drop in your Camry's performance. The car may seem less responsive when you accelerate, or it might struggle to pick up speed. Sludge acts like a drag on your engine's internal parts. When oil can't flow freely, the engine has to work harder to do its job. This extra effort translates directly into less power getting to your wheels. Increased oil consumption. Are you adding oil to your Camry more often than before? Increased oil consumption is a common sign of sludge. Sludge can clog the oil return passages in the cylinder head. When oil can't drain back down to the oil pan, it can get trapped, leading to more oil being burned in the combustion chamber. This means you'll see your oil level drop much faster than usual. Unusual noises. Listen closely to your engine. Unusual noises can be a big clue. You might hear ticking, rattling, or knocking sounds, especially when the engine is cold or when you first start it. These noises often come from parts like the valve train or crankshaft bearings not getting enough lubrication due to blocked oil passages. Without proper oil film, metal parts rub against each other, creating those worrying sounds. These noises tend to become louder and more frequent as the sludge problem progresses within your engine. Causes and contributing factors to oil sludge. Understanding why oil sludge forms in your Toyota Camry goes beyond simply missing an oil change. While infrequent maintenance certainly plays a role, several other factors can significantly contribute to this sticky mess. It's a combination of engineering specifics, driving habits, and even the type of oil you choose that can turn healthy engine oil into harmful sludge. Let's look at the often overlooked culprits. Engine design flaws. Some Toyota Camry engines, specifically the 1MZ FE V6 and certain 5S FE four-cylinder models from the late 1990s and early 2000s, had particular design characteristics that made them more prone to sludge. These engines often had narrow oil passages. Imagine trying to push thick syrup through a tiny straw, it's much harder than through a wide one. When oil starts to thicken, these narrow passages quickly become restricted, blocking proper oil flow. Furthermore, the placement and size of the crankcase ventilation system components could also contribute. An inefficient PCV system struggles to vent harmful gases and moisture from the crankcase. These unvented elements then mix with the oil, accelerating its breakdown and sludge formation. It's like having a stuffy room with no airflow, stale air and odors build up quickly. That's the first look at the oil sludge problem. Stay tuned for part 2. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.